Welcome back, guys. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. It is your boy, The Credit Dude. And if you're a business owner or you've been thinking about starting a business, then today's topic is one you honestly can't afford to miss, and it's business credit. So just like personal credit, guys, business credit plays a huge role in the financial success you have in your business and financial life, but it's often misunderstood or even overlooked by entrepreneurs. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how business credit works, how it truly differs from your personal credit, and why it's essential for your business's growth and ultimate success. So, so plus, I'm also going to walk you through on the basic steps on, on how to start building business credit. So let's just dive right in right away. Okay? All right, guys. So um, what is business credit? Okay. So business credit is, is kind of like exactly what it sounds like. It's credit for your business. So um, what is it and, and why do you ultimately need business credit? So, um, you know, as a consumer, you are, you know, you are assigned a social security number and at an appropriate age, you're able to start establishing credit for yourself, right, as an individual. So when your business is born, technically you are giving an EIN or a tax ID, which is, is similar to your social security number. And the, th the reason why business credit is, is really important in the business world is because, you know, depending on what industry you're in or what you ultimately end up trying to do for your business or with your business, um, a lot of people are going to want to know how strong and how credible is your business. You know, uh, we have actually clients that have, you know, um, a really good personal credit, but their business credit isn't established or even needed or even needed to be where it's at in order to obtain the financing or relationships that they're seeking, okay? So it's actually very important that you understand that uh, just because you are born, you know, and you have a social, it does not mean you have credit on the personal side. You have to build it and establish it. And, and just because you have a, an LLC, S Corp, and a business, or, I mean, and an EIN, it does not mean that you actually have credit established for that business either. So, you know, you want to make sure that as you're building your personal credit, that you also start taking the necessary steps to establish, maintain, and grow your business credit. Because when you start locking in those high deals and, and, and those large financing options that you're going to be able to take advantage of in your business, you, you want to make sure that the business credit doesn't ultimately, or actually the lack of business credit doesn't ultimately hold you back and prevent you from taking advantage of that opportunity, okay? So the reason why business credit matters is, is because the stronger your business credit and the stronger you're able to, um, and even more importantly, the, the, if you're even able to show lenders that you actually have business credit, um, it's gonna be a little bit easier for you to get financing. And, and just like on the personal side, so imagine this, you are 30 years old, you're trying to apply for credit and you're trying to get a car, you've never had a credit card, you never had a car, and you go to the dealership and you know, hey, I wanna buy that car. Somebody that's 25 with good credit is gonna get better financing than you because they actually have some established history. So first time you buying a car with no credit at all, they might say, okay, listen, we'll, we'll give you the car, but you gotta put $10,000 down, your rate is gonna be 19, 20%, but if you would've started building credit sooner, Hey, you know what? Walk off, you know, five hundred dollars down, nothing down, eight uh, percent, you know, six percent, whatever the case is. So, business credit just allows you guys to honestly get better financing terms on whatever it is you're trying to get, whether it's equipment financing, merchant cash advancing, SBA funding, um, lines of credit, long-term financing. They, there really are different types of business credit and business funding. Um, you know, I'm going to dive into why, you know. Your, your business credit score does not matter when you're trying to get an American Express, okay? That's based off of your personal credit, and we're going we're gonna to dive deep on that, too, in a little bit, all right? So mainly, guys, is if you're able to truly separate your personal and your business credit when you are looking to obtain loans and financing and things that actually are business credit, uh, it's going to be a little bit of an easier process. I'm going to tell you guys how to get established with each of the business credit bureaus because you know, that's how they're going to find your information. And that's how they're going to verify information, okay? Um, so the, diff the main differences, guys, between 
business and personal credit is, is how they're reported. I mean, you know, a lot of information that is on your personal credit, um, you know, it's not going to be reported to your business. You know, one of the biggest things is on your business credit report, a lot of the times you don't even know who the, who the lender is. You know, it, it sucks. You know, for instance, like if you have a, a, an auto loan with BMW and you have an auto loan on the business side with BMW, um, on your personal credit, it's going to say BMW finance, Financial Services. On the business credit side, it might just have the last four. It might just have the amount. It's not going to have the monthly payment. Typically, it's just going to have the balance and what you owe. Um, so it's not really going to show a detailed credit report like on the personal side, you know, it'll show the date open, the monthly payment, the payment history, the monthly payment, date established, um, last payment made. So there are a lot of differences, guys, between how it's even reported. You know what I mean? So uh, the best thing is to kind of keep track of who you're applying with, what accounts you have, um, and who's not reporting. And we're going to dive a little bit deeper in that too. Um, but, but guys, honestly, business credit, if done properly, it's not even tied to your social security number. It's tied to your EIN or your employer identification number, your tax ID. This is the dot and the nine digit that you get when you actually start your business, okay? Um, so uh, there are gonna be some times where you might have to personally guarantee or PG something for your business um, and it might not still report to your personal credit and only report to your business credit reports. But also one important thing that you have to understand too is not everything reports to the business side. OK, there, there, there might be someone that lends you money, lends you credit or extends you credit for that matter. And it's not even reported anywhere, but they at least sometimes they still check your business credit reports to even see if you are a candidate for their product. OK, so business credit is used in, in many ways. Um, it, it's used by vendors. It's used by suppliers in order to determine even what are going to be the terms that they extend you. OK, so they're going to be like, OK, you know, take a restaurant, for instance, we have a, a several restaurants that are, that are business owners and they actually obtain financing uh, or credit for that matter. Their terms are like seven to 14 days, meaning that they got to pay back whatever they borrow in seven to 14 days. So um, that's the average in like the restaurant uh, business where your average term is 30 days to pay it back. So if you borrow something or you take money. Um, on true business credit and it's net 30 terms, that means you have to pay it back in 30 days. So if you are looking to establish relationships with local vendors and, and, and suppliers, they're going to want to see, okay, well, how does this business pay? How are they actually paying other people? Because I'm not going to take a risk on them if they're the ones that, you know, they don't have any credit. You know, maybe um, I'll let them, you know, purchase from me for a couple of months and then I'll see how they're doing and then I'll maybe give them better terms, okay? But that's pretty much why um, business credit is, is, is established and important because, you know, you, you're going to see a lot of things out there, guys, for, you know, Uline, which is great, okay? And we're going to talk about that too in the video. Uh, you know, uh, accounts that necessarily um, you don't really need, but you need to purchase in order to establish business credit. Now, listen, those accounts are great, not knocking them, um, but... When you are a true business and you're actually doing volume and you're actually purchasing from vendors and suppliers that are actually that actually matter, um, this is the stuff that matters. OK, they're going to want to know how do you pay people? How are you actually establishing your business? How are you reporting your business? You know, um, are, are, you, are you paying everybody late? All this stuff, guys, is as crazy as it sounds. When it's a business, it's, it's, it's graded a lot differently, okay? Um, and, and that's why I want to talk to you guys about business credit scores. So uh, personal credit scores, you know, they range from um, 300 to 850. There's 550 points, right? On the business side, guys, you know, the basic scores for each one go up to 100, okay? Zero to 100. Um, Paydex score and teller score and your payment index score with Equifax. Now, there are with Equifax, there are different credit scores. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to make a, a video just on Equifax alone, just on Experian, and just on uh, Dun & Bradstreet, okay? Um, but I want you guys to know that on the business side, 0 to 100, that's it. So you cannot have a 200 business credit score with Paydex or with Experian Intelli Intelli score. So 
the, just to kind of give you guys the basic understanding, there's Equifax business, there's Experian business, and there's Dun & Bradstreet, okay? Their scores range from zero to 100, and typically their average is 75, 80. Um, and I could say as long as you are paying your creditors on time that actually report, you, you're gonna have an 80, you're gonna have an 80 across the board. 75, 80, like I said, is average. Um, how do you get it higher? Uh, remember I was telling you about like net seven, net 14, net 30 days. So if you, as soon as you get your bill, pay it the first day, okay? That is what's gonna have your score go to closer to the 100. Now, if you're paying your bills 25 days, 30 days, you know, 35, 40, it's gonna start getting down to like 65, you know, 50, whatever the case is. Um, especially too, guys, if you have some business collections. Now, here's the thing. Be careful of who you're signing up for. You know, be careful of what services you're applying for. So even if you did not provide your social, but if you're applying for or trying to get accounts or things that you might not know report to your business credit, um, you might owe an advertising company money or you might owe this person money um, or this is business money for that matter. And if you don't pay them, they could actually report that account to your business credit report and that collection account is going to stay on there, which can lower your business credit score. Okay, so um, the biggest thing, just make sure that your accounts are paid on time um, and make sure that when you are establishing your business too um, and, you're, and, and before you even start applying for business credit, that all of your information is accurate across all channels. And what I mean by that, guys, is make sure your LLC document, your EIN document, your state registration, any licensing that you have, any bank statements, any landlord, any type of utility bills that you have, all of that has the same address. It's spelled the same, business phone numbers the same, emails the same, because what you don't want to happen is, is you don't want to have like three or four business credit reports out there. I've seen it. Um, you might have one with this address, that address, this name, different name, and, and, it, and then it just starts becoming a little bit inconvenient. Um, it happened to me when I first started building business credit because I didn't know. Um, you know, you want to make sure that you have the right address, the right name. You know, if you spell out your name, if you spell out your business every single time with LLC, then put LLC. If every time you put an application, if you put limited liability corporation or limited liability company, then put that. All that matters. If you put suite and just spelling it out or putting the abbreviation, you know, make sure those little things are very, very important when establishing business credit because you don't want to have like I said, three or four different profiles out there. Now with your name, uh, your personal credit, think of it like this. You know how uh, you apply with your social and you look at your, you get your personal credit report. You see like different um, names on there, different addresses, things like that. Um, that's because 99% of the time, um, everything is tied to your social, okay? So they're not gonna create a different credit profile for you because it's tied to your social, you're just gonna have different name variations and different addresses. On the business side, could be a little bit different, okay? So um, a lot of the times, employee or people, you know, when you're applying for credit, you're not even applying with an EIN sometimes or even a DUNS number. So therefore, um, there's, there's a likelihood that things can get confused or mixed up. So you might have three or four different profiles with each bureau and not even know it. Okay, so it's very, very important on, on, on to clean that up, okay? Or make sure that you apply correctly so you never have to clean that up, okay? Um, so, you know, steps to start building your business credit, which I said I'm gonna talk to you guys about, is, um, you know, you wanna make sure, like I said, your, your, your stuff is spelled correctly, your EIN, make sure you get an EIN as free with, with the IRS. Um, you want a business bank account. Um, and, and those are the basic things that you're gonna need um, now, if your personal credit is good, uh, this is a very, very, very important thing for you guys to know. Um, if your personal credit is good, uh, you still want to make sure you have an e LLC, EIN, a business bank account, and a business address, okay? You want to make sure you have all these things so that way um, when you apply, um, you look a little bit more credible, you know? Um, you know, who's going to want to lend somebody money that is operating from their home and they're saying that they make, you know, $30,000 a month? and they're a pizzeria, okay? It's like, well, wait a minute. Uh, this is a little bit of a risk, okay? So you wanna make sure everything is set up correctly. Um, there are things that you guys uh, should know as well, like your NAICS code. Um, these are gonna be things that we talk about in a lot of other videos. Um, you know, the foundation of your business, what does your business do? Um, but when you have good personal credit, okay, 
you can use your personal credit as leverage or as the personal guarantor in order to apply for things like Chase Inc. Business Credit Card, American Express, certain vehicles, okay? Um, and technically, they won't really report to your personal credit. It'll just, it'll still report to your business, okay? And, and just make sure you're paying on time, that you're not being late and things like that because it's still going to affect your, you know, your business credit reports, okay? But it's not going to show up on your personal side. So this is if you have good business credit, I mean, good personal credit. You can start establishing good business credit by using your personal credit as leverage. And we're gonna start making more videos on that. You know, there's gonna be some links below that you can be able to apply for some accounts, okay? Um, and, and reach out to some of our partners who help our clients with building uh, a business credit as well. Um, we also do this in the God Credit Academy. We teach you um, how to apply for certain um, vendors and certain uh, companies and how to get everything set up correctly before you apply. Like, you don't wanna get like, you know, too, too happy you know, an application happy, trigger happy, whatever you want to call it, and, and start applying before everything is set up. It's very, very, very important, guys. Okay. Now, let's say even if your business, let's say even if your personal credit is good, and you're like, you know what? Eh, I don't really need this money right now. We're going to talk about why you would establish your business credit. Um, I don't really need to apply for anything. I want to just build my business credit up little by little. Um, the first thing that I would say for you to do is 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 research in your area and in your town or even in your network of, of who it is that you're using. You know, what are you using for your business? You know, um, because Uline or Granger might not be something that you could benefit from. I mean, let's just be honest. Um, so therefore, uh, what I always tell, especially like contractors, painters, landscapers, things like that, um, research and, 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 and look to who you're getting your supplies from. Um, you will be surprised that a lot of local vendors and suppliers actually offer business credit. All you got to do is ask them, like, hey, listen, I've been buying concrete, I've been buying pavers, I've been buying paint, I've been buying X, Y, Z um, from you for the last two years, you know. Um, I never knew about business credit, but I saw a YouTube video from the credit dude, and I wanted to know, like, do you offer, oh, yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, we actually offer business credit terms. They're not going to tell you. Um, one of the things you could do, too, guys, is, is if you're going, depending on who you're applying with, um, and you already use them for business, Go to the bottom of their page, okay? This is one of the things that I tell people. Go to the bottom of their website, and you might see something that says business credit application, business terms, business financing. Um, it's not going to be, hey, we offer business financing. Apply right now with no social. They're not going to do that. It's somewhere on the page. Just look for it. You can give them a call and find out. Um, some examples so you guys can know before we talk about even more business, different types of business credit, Sherman Williams, okay, Home Depot, Lowe's. These are places that offer business credit. Um, you can apply right in Lowe's and Home Depot with your business, no EIN, okay? Uh, Sherman Williams, different type of, of vendors, guys, depending on who you're, who you're going with, um, they will offer you business financing or business terms, business credit, um, and you don't always have to give your social. Sometimes you might have to. And, and the thing is, guys, is if you build your business credit the right way, you can walk into a dealership and say, hey, listen, I need that truck. I need the F-150. I need the Dodge Ram. I need a vehicle for my business. I want to apply with no personal guarantee. You want to make sure that your business is set up the right way so that way you can do that. It's not going to happen overnight. But let's say if you don't have your business credit established and you want to apply for a vehicle into your business, you can go to the car dealership and say, hey, listen, I want to apply for that business for that car in my business. Let them find out that you don't have business credit yet. And when they say, hey, listen, we weren't able to approve into the business. All right, well, I want to provide my personal credit as a guarantee. And boom, you'll get approved for that car. And nine out of ten times, it will not report to your business credit. There are some cars that will, guys, like if you get a car with Land Rover, I mean, uh, Land Rover and a Range Rover, they use Chase. They're going to run your personal credit. They're still going to report um, some BMW accounts. Some Mercedes accounts, um, some Porsche accounts do. So it, just be mindful that sometimes they still might report to your personal credit as well, but it's building both. You know what I mean? What I, here, here's my rule of thumb. If you own a business, okay, and you're going to get a vehicle, and they go, we're going to run your personal credit, why not just get it on the business side? Okay? Let them run your personal credit, but get on the business side. Um, and leave that debt to income ratio alone, meaning don't let that car payment report. It, it, you know, your, your credit will look a little bit healthier, not in the sense of because of, of, uh, you're not going to pay your bills, 
but it's just gonna be a little bit of less debt, okay? So remember, guys, um, when you are establishing relationships with local vendors, that's always a go-to. It's always good to know who in your local area, who in your local market um, actually provides some type of business financing. And even if they don't report, imagine this. Imagine if you're a contractor, you build up your business credit profiles the right way. Um, even if they don't report, but they look at your business credit, they see, okay, well, this guy pays his bills on time. And imagine if you're able to secure a thirty to forty, fifty thousand um, dollar credit line with someone that sells pavers or construction equipment or, or or anything for that matter. It'll free up your cash flow, and and this is the reason why, guys, that maintaining good business credit is important. It frees up cash flow. That's the biggest thing. Um, it's what helped me out. It it frees up your cash flow because now you're able to borrow X amount of dollars for your business with net 30, 60 day terms, okay? Some might even give you revolving depending on the, you know, the account. I know Amazon has some good business credit accounts, okay? Um, but what it's gonna do is if you can borrow 20 grand, that 20 grand, you use it to do a job or do something and it makes you 40, 50 grand, you're, you're at a plus, you're at a positive every single time. And even if they don't report, you can still be ahead and still get the benefits of having business credit. Now. Done in Bradstreet, they do have a service where you can actually get them to report your suppliers. They'll call them and verify. So we're going to make a video on that for you too. Um, but, you know, remember guys, business credit and maintaining good business credit ultimately is going to free up a lot of your cash flow. So, so don't get stuck up in the, you know, oh, I got, you know, all this business credit. But next thing you know, you're spending, you know, $900 a month paying, you know, net 30 accounts that you're never going to use. Okay, so don't get caught up into getting trade lines for your business just to get trade lines for your business. There really has to be a purpose as to why you're building business credit. Um, we're going to be giving you guys a lot of, of, of important accounts and a lot of places you can go to to build business credit. Even if they don't report, at least if you can get some type of financing terms and favorable terms, it, it's going to be beneficial for you. You know what I mean? So. The one thing that you want to stay away from as much as possible, okay, is um, kind of like commingling the funds or, you know, commingling the credit reports. Now, you might have to do it in the beginning. You know, I'm going to give you guys one account right now, Capital One Spark. Um, this account reports to your personal and your business. And you're just starting out. Let's say your credit isn't where it really needs to be at. That might be the only business credit card you get. You can't get Chase Inc. You can't get American Express yet. So this card reports to both. That might be the only option that you could do right now. Okay, and it's okay. Um, but remember, if you max that card out, it is not only going to affect your business credit, it's also going to affect your personal credit. And if you're late on it, it's going to affect both. So you don't want to get into the habit of using both personal and business credit for everything because then it defeats the purpose. You know what I mean? So you want to make sure that you separate both. You start applying for both separately. And like I said, I'm going to keep saying it. Sometimes they might have you use your personal credit as leverage to apply for it. But just ask them, hey, I'm going to apply for this with my personal credit. Do you guys report to personal credit? No. Okay. Good to go. You know, there are like, I, I believe the TD Bank, a business credit card, that one also still reports to your personal credit. Um, Discover. They used to be able. They used to have a, a business credit card. They don't have it anymore. So um, don't worry about it so much. There's not a lot of a credit cards that do. Um, this would be more also for auto loans. Okay. Um, now here's the thing. Let's say if you apply for a merchant cash advance, or let's say you apply for a business loan. Let's say you apply for something under your business, and it, it you at one point in time use your personal credit um, as a personal guarantor and you don't pay it, it will report to your personal credit as a negative account. That's why it's important that you understand that even if you use your personal credit in the beginning to secure that account and it doesn't report in the beginning, you have to maintain good payment history and good you know, balance history with that, with that account because if you get into negative standing, it could potentially be reported to your personal credit and you know now it affects your personal and, and your shot. Okay. Um, also, make sure um, that you're not applying for too many business credit accounts at one time. Uh, this could adversely affect you. You know, we see a lot of people that you know they're applying for 20 accounts a month. Like, dude, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, be mindful. Always have a purpose 
as to why you're trying to secure some type of business credit. Okay, is this gonna help my business? All right, with me applying for this Net30 account, am I gonna be spending more money on it than I'm bringing in? You know, um, am I gonna be buying toilet paper and screwdrivers and, and, and sunglasses or whatever and garbage bags? Is this really gonna benefit my business? Now, let's say if you're a cleaning business, it might, you might, you can get all your cleaning products on Uline or other websites and it's gonna benefit your business because you, you know you, you get your cleaning products, you clean your houses, you do what you gotta do, you get paid, boom, now you're able to, to do what you gotta do. You own a landscaping business, you own a car, a car detailing business, you gotta make sure that it serves a purpose. Don't just throw your money away, guys. I don't want you building business credit um, by throwing your money away. Trust me, I've done it, I've seen it, I've seen a lot of people go in debt and actually just give up on it because they just started applying for every single Net30 account that they saw. And, and, and when you guys get Net30 accounts, in order for it to report, sometimes you gotta spend at least $100 a month for several months in order for it to report. So be mindful of that. Do not go in debt, guys. I've seen this happen a lot and I don't want it to, uh, to happen to you. Now, you know, having um, strong business credit long-term can help you get better finance for SBA, um, better you know, long-term financing, also with like 10-year uh, terms or lines of credit. Um, and it could also get you, you know, let's say if you're trying to go for a contract, let's say you're trying to do some government financing, let's say you're just trying to expand your business and you want some type of funding, this is where good business credit is gonna come in. Um, you know, I finance my computers through Apple. I was able to get Apple equipment on business credit, no personal guarantee. Um, because I had a good business credit before. So you want to make sure that everything you're doing has a purpose because, you know, I hope you don't plan on just having a business for two years. You, you have to, like, really take this serious and look at the long-term effect. All right, I'm going to get into this contract with this. I'm going to do this. What benefit is it going to have me in five years, three years, four years, ten years? You know what I mean? So um, you could always, you know, if you're going to sell your business, you want to make sure you have good business credit because it could affect the debt. You know, if you have too much debt, negative debt, it could, you know, let's say you want to bring a partner in and they want to see your finances. All those things are very important, guys. So just to make sure that you know, um, you know, keep following me because I wanted to discuss first why business credit is important, why you need it, um, you know, and, and, and really what it is. You know, there's a lot of people out there just selling you net 30s. Guys, business credit is not just net 30s. And, and it's okay. Listen, you, if you want to have... Um, 30 net 30 accounts and you're spending, you know, $50 on each, that's, that's up to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? But my goal is to show you how to truly maximize your business credit. Um, here at the God Credit Academy, we do this, uh, we help you with it for hundred dollars a month. We help you with your personal credit. Uh, we do help you with teaching you how to uh, strategically build your business credit and where you got to go to get everything done. Um, and, and what accounts you need, you know, who do you go to to make sure everything is set up properly. Um, and, and, and honestly, guys, like, you know, I want to just finish it off by saying, you know, business credit is, is a powerful tool, guys. It can help you grow your business. It can help you really achieve. It can help you achieve, like, all your entrepreneurship goals and, and dreams. Um, but it could also hurt you. You know, if you don't do this the right way, uh, like I said before, you can go into debt by building business credit. So understanding how business credit works um, and taking the right steps to truly build your business credit and to maintain it, um, I mean, I feel you're setting up your business for success. So don't ignore this part. Um, if you're not ready to build business credit, like, you know, work on your personal credit, save some money, you know, get some revenue coming in, um, you know, uh, establish some type of business. You know, you know, don't just open up a net third, an, an LLC net 30 and think, oh, I got business credit. There has to be a purpose for it, okay? Um, so don't look, don't don't overlook this process, guys. It's 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 going to be the difference between um, you just getting by in business and then and then you really exploding and and thriving in in today's market. It's 2024. It's a very competitive market out there. Um, so just make sure you keep all that in mind because me, I don't I don't got credit. I'm the credit dude, I I want to see you succeed. I, I want to see you really take business credit seriously. Um, so if you like this video, make sure you like it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if, if you aren't already subscribed. And, and just hit that notification bell, guys. I'm going to be dropping a lot of business credit and personal credit information every week. Um, and, and share this with your friends. Um, 
Share this with your family. Share this with, 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 your, with your following um, because together we can ultimately establish really good business credit and take all this to the next level. So stay tuned to the next one. I'll see you in the next video and let's start building business credit the right way. Peace out.